Hey everyone, I just wanted to quickly tell you something that's going on here in Colorado. I just found out today at lunchtime when I talked to the owner of a restaurant that he told me that starting tomorrow they're going under the high orange alert here in Boulder County that the COVID cases have increased to 312 per 100,000 and so they're mandating tomorrow that the restaurants and businesses will all go down to 25% capacity from 50% capacity, which means they'll be operating with very few customers being able to come dine there now. And we're going backwards to a couple of months ago and um, they're also reporting that the churches are being shut down as well, which shouldn't surprise us at all with everything else that's happening with the elections and everything. Um, I believe that, you know, these businesses are already experiencing great financial loss, and it's incredible to me that this can be constantly done to us over and over and over no matter what the case is i mean last year there was such a huge influx of people having the flu and pneumonia afterwards that it wasn't like this they didn't force everybody to wear a mask and how many months now have we been wearing masks for over half a year so um and the constitution gives us the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Are you happy wearing your mask? You know, is it really stopping anyone from getting sick? According to the packages that I've seen, it absolutely does not stop particles from going through the medical, it's not a medical mask. It is just a whole lie. And who's profiting off of the making of the masks? Because if you see who's manufacturing all the masks, it's China. And um, so now they've created a big old disease for everyone and then profiting off of it tremendously by selling everyone the masks. And uh, tonight I saw somebody invented some clear things to go over your nose and your mouth. And how about we just live free like usual you know and uh, anyway i'm just reporting that this is starting tomorrow on november 6th that we're going to 25 percent capacity in the restaurants and businesses and the churches are being shut down again and no large gatherings are going to be allowed now this is setting up for thanksgiving where large crowds gather and they're telling everybody not to really have any kind of large gatherings or even really a Thanksgiving and that will lead to no Christmas and so on and so on and so on. Um, it's just an insane situation going on and I don't know how this is going to affect the businesses like um, you know the storage units where I have my belongings. It's you know, questionable about what will happen to the hotels if they can't have enough residents. You know, will they be shutting down too? And the cost and the prices of everything skyrocketing. So this was really news to me when this owner of the restaurant told me that he's shutting down to 25% capacity starting tomorrow. Down from 50%. And it's already been pretty ridiculous with all the spaces between all the booths where they turn people away from even being able to eat. You know, what difference does it make if you get in your booth and you take your mask off and you're eating and you're breathing in the air? It's just making no sense, you know. And one of the things that I have talked about before is that when you go to the gas station, they don't have any paper towels there, so you can't take a hold of the pump with a paper towel, you have to basically put your bare hand on where everybody else has had their hand, and who knows, you know? So that doesn't stop people from catching anything. 
And furthermore, when you go to the grocery store and people are constantly picking up items, they open up the refrigerator, they take out a piece of cheese, you know, and then they put it back because they decide they don't want it, or they put a canned good back, or they take something out of the freezer department and put it back, or, you know, like a Pepsi can or whatever, any kind of drink cans, they pick them up and put them back. You can't stop every single thing from happening. So what's the difference whether we make wear these masks that the masks basically say on them that they do not prevent you from getting COVID. And not only that, but like I've said before, China is the one making all these masks and they're profiting off of the disease that they created worldwide and spread all over. And now, you know, we're supposed to go buy masks from China. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Um, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is our constitutional right. And we are praying, and we're not going to stop praying for a righteous president to get in the office of the presidency and to do God's will. We pray for the protection of the United States of America, and we will not stop praying. Anyway, I'm just letting you know this is what ha is happening here in Boulder County, Colorado, that now the lockdown is not that far away with this event happening starting tomorrow, going back to the 25% capacity in restaurants and businesses and no churches meeting. So I'm letting you know this is what's happening now, and I will soon be talking to you later. Thank you for supporting this channel. Um, PayPal.me forward slash KKROCOCO or GoFundMe.com forward slash KKROCOCO or donations at my address are Kimberly Ballard, P.O. Box 246, Niwot, N I W O T. Colorado 80544 and my book publisher is olivepresspublisher.com where you can find my book about the Lord and his testimony called The Almond Tree Aaron's Rod the Messiah King of Israel and then we made an ebook out of chapter 4 that's only available through an ebook form called Moses so I just wanted to give you this quick update because this is something I just found out this afternoon that's about to go down tomorrow. And if the cases increase, then they will go to total lockdown if they increase from 312 to 350. So be praying and continue praying. Don't give up hope and have strength in the Lord. And we just give all of these things into the hands of the mighty creator of the universe. I will be back with another video sharing some pretty incredible things that are kind of an update from when I revealed about Joshua crossing the Jordan being the same day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey. There's more to it. And I hope you'll stay tuned and stay in touch. And, um, Thank you for your prayers for Irvin Baxter's family. And you can still go to his channel. Um, I think it's End Time. Uh, End of the Age is the program, I know that. But you can go to their program and you can donate to help their family too if you desire to. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and just wanted to give you a heads up. Talk to you in a little while.